Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today I am going to discuss quinine. It is used in anti-malarial drugs. It is an alkaloid. First, it was isolated from the bark of cinchona tree, and the bark of this tree contain more than thirty alkaloids. First of all, I will discuss few of its physical properties. It is white crystalline solid, water insoluble. Melting point is one seventy seven degree, and it has bitter taste. In addition to anti malarial activity, it is also used in anti inflammatory drugs, anti pyretics, analgesics, and other uh, pharmacological products. So, first of all, I will discuss structural elucidations. Elemental analysis shows that the molecular formula of quinine is C twenty H twenty four and two O two, and its structure. Is this? It contains methoxy group, quinoline nucleus, hydroxy group, and vinyl group, and nitrogen atom, and this ring which has bridged with two carbon. So, first of all, let's see its structural elucidations. So, as this structure shows that there are two nitrogen atoms, and both the nitrogen atoms are in tertiary stage. so how can we prove that uh, the state of nitrogen atom is di tertiary when quinine is treated with methyl iodide it adds two molecules to form quaternary ammonium salt it shows that one methyl iodide is added here and other is here so nitrogen atoms present in this molecule are in di tertiary stage so hydroxyl group is present how we can check it we treat quinine with acetic acid and we get monoacetate derivative and if we treat uh, quinine, uh, quinine with benzoyl chlorides so we get mono benzoyl derivative it shows that the presence of hydroxyl group whether the hydroxyl group is in phenolic state or not we can check if we treat quinine with ferric chloride it gives no color it shows that the hydroxyl group is not in Uh, phenolic state so methoxy group is present so first of all we will check that uh, the methoxy group is present we treat quinine with hcl so methyl chloride is removed and hydroxy derivative is obtained it shows that methoxy group is present in the structure if we see the structure there is a group present which contain pi bond so how can we check the olefinic linkage is present by addition reaction when quinine is treated with halogen in carbon tetrachloride so trans di bromo derivative is obtained it shows that pi bond is present we can also check the olefinic linkage by addition of hydrogen or hydrogen halide so whether the olefinic group is vinyl or not we can check this by uh, treat quinine in the presence of potassium permanganate in base and we can heat the solution so oxidative cleavage of this double bond takes place and both of the carbon uh, which are represented by star these get oxidized and we get formic acid and quinic acid so both of these products shows the presence of vinyl linkage as this only carbon is oxidized to form formic acid as well so presence of quinoline nucleus this nucleus is called as quinoline so how we can check it we treat it with concentrated potassium hydroxide followed by heat so we get 6 methoxy quinoline and methyl quinoline it shows that the presence of quinoline nucleus in the structure this methoxy group is present whether with uh, benzene or with pyridine so how can we check this we treat quinic acid the quinic acid form here its formula is this quinic acid is treated with hcl this methyl chloride is removed and hydroxy derivative is obtained which is heated now the carbon dioxide is removed so we get hydroxy quinoline at 6 position and this hydroxyl group shows that 
the methoxy group in the structure is present with the uh, benzene ring. So, all this elucidation, elucidated data shows that the structure of quinine is this. So, this is structural elucidation. Now, I am going to discuss synthesis of quinine. Synthesis of quinine. There are several methods given by different uh, scientists, but I will discuss this method. In this method, we treat hydroxybenzaldehyde with diethoxyethylene amine and both these molecules condense to give this structure which is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid. Both of these ethoxy group removed as ethanol ring layer takes place and we get hydroxyquinoline. Hydroxyquinoline is treated with these reagents to get this structure which is followed by uh, reaction with methanol sodium methoxide and hydrogen and we get methyl derivative of hydroxyquinoline. This is followed by reduction through Adams catalyst in the presence of platinum oxide and water. We get this structure and in this structure pyridine nucleus this get reduced. And this structure is treated with acetic anhydride hydrogen and acetate group removed at acetic acid and <coughs> we get this derivative. So, uh, this structure undergo reduction and benzene nucleus also uh, 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 undergo hydrogenation and we get this structure followed by oxidation in the presence of chromic acid or potassium permanganate uh, in the presence of base and we get this structure and after three steps in first step we treat this structure with nitroethane sodium ethoxide then acetic acid followed by reduction then silver oxide methyl iodide we get this structure okay now this structure is treated with ethanol hydrogen is removed from uh, this position and we get astral linkage and benzoyl chloride HCl is removed and the structure is obtained which undergo condensation through glazing condensation with ethyl cuneate and we get this structure. Now HBr is removed and this ethylene bridge is obtained and this ketonic group undergo reduction and we get finally quinine. So this is all about the uh, one method of synthesis of quinine. Thank you very much.